the first thing you will want to do is to make a magic ring. You do like that. And then you will do three chains. One, two, and three. Like this. After your three chains, you will want to make 16 double crochets into the magic ring. So to make a double crochet, you will yarn over, go over the loop, pull up the yarn, yarn over again, and then pull through these two loops, one, and then yarn over again, and then pull through two. So you will do 16 um, double crochets in this magic ring. Yarn over, pull over. like this. So I'll meet you when I have done 16 double crochets in this magic ring. Now I've done 16 double crochets into the magic ring and including the chain 3 you will have 17 so make sure that you count the stitches before cinching it in so you will pull this yarn and then it will automatically cinch in this magic ring and you will get something like this. And then after that, you will slip stitch onto the third um, chain that we first made when we did the magic ring. So like this. And then you will yarn over, pull through, and then slip stitch. So this is your first round. For row two, you will first chain three. One, two, one, two and three. And then you'll be doing pop stitches, which I'm going to show you how you can do it, is to yarn over and then go to the top of the previous double crochet and then you will yarn and then you will pull up. So now you have three loops, so you will do three more times yarn over, go in, pull up, this is the second time, yarn over, go in, and then pull up. And then you will yarn over and then you will pull through all of them and it's a bit hard to do like that and then sometimes you can just pull the last one like this like what I've did to make it easier so now you have your kind of like a puff stitch and then you will chain two to close it off and then you will yarn over go to the next stitch this time you will have to do the process for four times so yarn over go in pull up this first time, yarn over, go on the pull up second time, yarn over, pull up third time, yarn over, go in, pull up this is the fourth time, and then yarn over, and then you will go through all of them. And the quick tip here is to make sure your hook is facing downward so it's easier to go through. And then yarn over, chain two. So you will repeat this process throughout all of the V's um, on the previous round. So I'll show you again. Yarn over, go down, pull up. Yarn over, go down, pull up. Second time, yarn over, go down, pull up. Yarn over, go down, pull up. So this is four times. Yarn over and then pull through all. And then chain two. So I'll meet you when I'm done with this round. Now I have just done row 2 and you will be having 16 puff stitches um, in row 2 so make sure you count them and it is correct. So to close off you will have chain 2 and then slip stitch to the chain 3 that we made, the top of the chain 3 that we made like this, yarn over and then slip stitch. For row 3, you will chain 3 again, 1, 2, and 3, like this. And then now you'll be doing something I call like a leaf stitch, because I'm not sure the real name of the stitch, but anyway. So I'll yarn over, and then go to the gap, the big gap that we made from the chain 2 space, pull up, and then do like an incomplete double crochet, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, and then do a second one, yarn over, go up, pull through, third one, 
yarn over, pull up, and then pull through the two. So now you will have one, two, three, four, five um, loops on your hook, and then you will yarn over, pull through all of them, and you will have something like this. And then you will chain two, and then you will do the same in all the gaps that you've made from your chain two. So yarn over, go down, pull up, pull one, pull two, pull three, pull four. So each time you will have to make sure you have five loops on your hooks. You yarn over, pull through all of them, and chain two. So I'll do it again just to make sure I'm clear. So I will have yarn over now. Go down, pull up once, and then do an incomplete double crochet, I would say. Yarn over, repeat, pull over two loops, yarn over, go down, go up, and then yarn over, pull through two, and then one last time. Go up and then pull through two and then make sure that you have five on your hook. Yarn over and then pull through and chain two. So you will go across the whole row and then I'll meet you after I have completed this row. Just finish row three and by the end of this row you will have 16 of these leaf stitches um, in this row. So to finish off you will have chain two already and then you will go into the top of the chain three that we've made from the start of this row. Yarn over and then you will do a slip stitch like this. And then now for row four you'll be doing the squares and the corners. So you will have chain four for row four. So for row four, you will have chain four first, and then you will do two treble crochets, chain three, and three treble crochets for your corners. So for a treble crochet, you will yarn over twice, and then at the same space here, this one, you will go down, pull up as the same height, and then you will pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. This is your treble crochet. So to demonstrate again, you will yarn over. Um, this is your treble crochet. And then now, I will demonstrate again. It will be yarning over twice, going into that same space, pulling up, yarn over one, two, and three, like this. And then now you will chain two to make your corner, and then you will do your treble crochet again three times, so yarn over twice, go into the same space, pull up as the same height, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two, like this. So I'll demonstrate two more times, go into the space, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. So you will have something like this, which this is your corner, and then I'll do one last treble crochet. Go in, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So this will be your corner, your first corner, and then now we will be doing double crochets three times into the next space here. So it will be like this, pull through two and pull through two, yarn over, go up, pull through two, like this, and this. So this is three double crochets into the next space and then to the next one you will do three half double crochets so like this so you yarn over go in go out yarn over and pull through all of the loops in that like this so this will be your corner and then this will be like the length or width of um, your square so now I will be increasing again, which means that I'll be doing double crochet three times. Three. Oops. 
two, and three. And then now I'll be doing my corners again. So now I'll be doing three treble crochets, chain three and three treble crochets. Because for the first corner we have chained four already, but for the remaining corners we'll be doing three treble crochets, um, chain three and three treble crochets into the same space for your corner. So yarn over twice, pull up, go through one, two, and three times. Yarn over twice, pull up, one time, two, and three. Like this. And then now you'll chain three, two, and three, and then do three trebles. So this is your second corner right here and then now you'll repeat this row to here. So now you will do double crochets three times. One, two, and three. And then now you will do three half double crochets onto the next space. One, two, and three. For the next one you will do um, three double crochets because you're reaching your corner now. Two and three. So you can see here I've made like the line of the square like this part. So now we've reached the corner so now we'll be doing the three treble crochet, chain three and three treble crochet and then you'll repeat this um, throughout the whole row. So I'll meet you after I've completed um, the whole square. So I've reached the end of row four so by the end of it you will be ending at three double crochets and then you will have done four corners as you can see here. So to end this row you will have to slip stitch to the chain four that we've made, the top of the chain four, like this, and then you will, oops, you will yarn over, pull through, and then slip stitch, like this. So for the next row, you will chain one, and then you will do half double crochets into all of these stitches. So I'll show you how. So now you will yarn over, go into the same space, pull up, and then pull through all of them as a half double crochet like this. Yarn over, go to the V at the top like this. Yarn over, pull up and go through all of them. Yarn over, pull up like this. So when you reach the corner, you will do a half double crochet into the gap, chain two, and then do one more half double crochet into the same space like this. And then now you will yarn over, go through that, and then you will do half double crochets all along. And then when you reach the corners, you will do half double crochet, chain two, and half double crochet into the same space. And then you'll repeat it all over. So I have reached the end of this row, so you will be doing half double crochet onto the previous double crochet that you did from the last row to end this you will be going into the first half double crochet you've done in this row and then you'll be doing a slip stitch like this and then for the last row of this samba square you'll be doing double crochets um, into all of the stitches to make it bigger so I'll show you so I'll have chain four here one two three and four like this and then you'll yarn over go into the same space pull up go through one and go through two so you'll be doing double crochets onto each of them like this so when you have reached the corner still do a double crochet into here and then when you reach the gap here, you will do 
um, a double crochet, chain two, and then another double crochet so that you will be keeping your corner here and then you will be doing double crochets again into each stitch over like this when you reach the corner it will be double crochet chain two and double crochet and yeah this is the last row and i will meet you when i finish so now when you reach the end of this row you'll be finishing your double crochets like this and then it will be just slip stitching to the top of the chain that you've made at the start of the row like this and then you would fasten off it's a bit wonky now but later on when you just adjust it a bit it will be very very cute and pretty like this so for the balaclava you'll be making 12 of this so i will meet you uh, once i have made 12 of these samba squares and i really like the design and it looks really really pretty so after finishing your 12 samba squares you will have to lay it out like a t-shape and then we'll be doing the sewing from here to here horizontally first and then second we'll be doing it vertically through here and then lastly we will be doing stitches here to here sewing them from here to here so first you will need a sewing needle and then you will need some yarns as well so you want to cut your desired length i will recommend you to cut more so that by the end of it you won't have to worry about not having enough once you've cut the yarn for the sewing part you will just go through like this and then you will start by going to the corners and then you will be doing the sewing on the outer v's the here here and here so you'll be going into the first one of the corner and then you will match it up like this to do your sewing. Before starting, you will want the front of your sombra squares to face in front of you. So this side is the right side. And then you will start by finding your corner and then insert your needle to the outer bit of your V and then pull through. like this and then leave a bit behind and after that you will find the piece behind and then you'll find the corresponding um, stitch which is this one and then you will also just be through the outer or in this case inner um, inner, v, inner part of the V so it will be something like this And for the second stitch, you will go back to the place where you started, insert the needle, and then you will want to go to the second V's, so like this. And then you will like this, and then go to the second stitch here of the front piece, and then you will go to the third stitch of the back piece and then sew so this is how I sew my pieces but if you want you can always just use a hook and then just do like slip stitches as well but I find this um, prettier and then you'll keep doing it so this time is third stitch to fourth stitch like this so you'll be doing this process horizontally. So now I've reached the end of the first connecting part. And then now I will show you how to connect the other square to this.
piece. I we'll just take one of them. First, I will go find the corresponding corner, which is this one right here. And then I'll go in there first. I will slip through it first so it will be easier. Be something like this. Now I will use the second square, find the corresponding stitch, which is this one, and then go through. So that it will be knitted together like this. So the tip here is that when you reach the end of one of the connecting parts, um, you will find the front piece first and then find the corresponding stitch and then go into the first stitch first and then you go to the first stitch and then once you've got, gone through the first stitch you will take up another square and then you'll find the corresponding stitch and then go through it like this. So now you will do the same which is going back to the first stitch and then going to the second stitch of the back piece and then remember it is the inner V this part and then you will just sew it together like this and then remember to tighten it so that they will be together like these four pieces and then now second stitch and then that stitch So after you finish sewing this main body, you will also have to sew um, this part with this. So it will it will be like this. And then for this side, you will have to sew it like this. So it will end up being like a hat kind of thing. It will be like the body of the balaclava as shown like this. So I'm gonna go sew these parts again uh, before making the last bit, which is the details of the balaclava. After sewing everything together, you will get something like this, which is the body of your hood. And then now we'll be doing the details, which is the border of this hood. So we'll be doing borders from here all across to the side. So what you want to do first is to do a slip knot and then go into the middle of the corner, which here you can count the stitches, which is one, two, three, four. So here I'll be going to the second one, like this, and then pull up and secure like this and then you will do three chains one two oops, three first row you'll be doing double crochets along this whole border of your hood so i'm going to show you so now you will go in to the next v pull up and then do a double crochet like this and then to the second one pull up So now I'm doing my last um, double crochet for this square. 
And now when you reach the connecting parts, uh, you will want to do double crochets into the connected parts as well as just to secure them. Just go into here, pull up, do a double crochet. So when you reach the corner of your second square here, uh, don't forget that you're not doing double crochet into the space, but you're doing on top of the Vs. So you'll be doing it here, like this. And then you pull up and then do double crochet. And then you'll just repeat the process until uh, the end of the row. And I'll meet you once we are there. So once you've reached the end of your row one of the border, you'll be chaining three. One, two, three. And then turning your work like so. And then now for row two, you'll be doing a set of back post double crochet and front post double crochet as a group and then you'll repeat back and front back and front throughout the whole row so I'm going to demonstrate how to do back and front post double crochet so first we'll be doing back so now you will yarn over and then for back pose you will go in from here and then here so this is at the back. You'll be doing your double crochet at the back of the bar. So yarn over, go from the back, crossing over to the second hole, and then pull up. Like this. And then now we'll be yarning over and then doing your normal double crochet like this. So this is back post double crochet and then now for the front post we'll be doing it in reverse so we will be doing it from the front and then back. So you can see that the bar for the front post is actually on our hook. We can see it. And over, go from the front and then back and then you will want to take your yarn now and then pull it up like this. And do your normal double crochet, chain one, and then two. So you can see that the front pose actually stands out like this, while the back is a more subtle kind of pattern. And I'll repeat this to make it more clear. So now we'll be doing back and over, and then you'll be going from the back and then go to, and then go in, take your yarn, and then whoops. Take your yarn and then pull up like this, pull through two, pull through two. So this will be the pattern and then for front pose, you'll be going from the front and then back, yarn over and then pull up like this. And then pull through two and then pull through two. We will do it for row 2 and row 3 and then I'll meet you once I'm done with this border. I've just finished my row of back post double crochet and front post double crochet and then now I'm going to do another row. So for that I'm going to chain 3 first and then turn like this and then now you will do back post first so yarn over and then you go to the here, which is not that obvious, but if you just expand it a bit, you can see. And then you go back front and then yarn over. And then you can see this is front. So you go front, back, yarn over, up, like this. And then you will continue doing this for this row as well. So now after doing the borders, we'll be doing the base of the balaclava, which is the final part of it. So for the base, we will be doing a chain to connect these two parts together because now if I just do it like this, it will not have a shape. So I've decided to do like a chain to connect these two parts and then we'll be working rounds. For row one of our base, I'll be inserting my hook um, here which is the start of the border right here like this and then pull up to secure the space 
And then now I'll be doing the connecting parts, which I'll be doing 15 chains, but this is totally customizable for you. So you should measure it yourself and see whether you like the fit or you like the width of how the hood fits on you. So I'll be doing 15 here. One, two. I'll be connecting it to the other side of the border, which is also the same corner here. And then I'll be doing a slip stitch like this. So you can see that now you have like the connecting parts and then you can see the hood is forming here. And then now I'll be doing double crochet all across this circle right here. So to start the base, we'll be chaining three first. One, two, three. After our connecting part. And then now I'll be doing double crochet all across the round, but for the border, I'm not sure how many double crochets I'll be doing. So what I do is I use my finger and then measure roughly the length of my border. And then I went to the V's, which you can see here from the sunburst square. I kind of just do this and then count how many stitches I need for my border. So for me, it's roughly five. So I'll be putting five double crochets here. So one two, three, four, and five here. So it's just randomly, but you can see it is evenly distributed here. And then now it will be easier for us because we'll have very clear Vs to our double crochet all across the round. So as you can see here, it is really easy to do just your normal double crochet here. And then you will do it all across the row to here. And then I'll meet you back once I'm in the connecting part. I've reached the connecting parts now. So I'll show you how to do double crochets into them. So it's also very easy. You just go into the Vs of each of the chains. So for here, you go into the V, pull up, and then yarn through, and yarn through. And then for the second one, also go into the V, go up, like this. And then you will be doing it for the whole connecting part. After doing the double crochets onto the chain, I will be doing a slip stitch on the, the third chain. Up your chain up space like this and then for row two you'll first chain up three one two three and then you'll be doing the same pattern as the border where you do one back post double crochet one front post double crochet as a group so now um, I'll do it just for reference so now you'll be doing a back oops back post double crochet like this and then front pose like this. Here is a zoom in view of how I do it. So verse is back, so you would do it like this. The back one like this and then for the front like this. So you'll be doing as long as you want. I'll tell you how long did I make it at the end of the video so that you can have a reference, but then it is totally up to you how long you want the neck part to be, which is the base, which is how I've referred it to be, but this is like the neck part of your hood. So it is up to you how long you want to do it. So yeah, this is the end of the tutorial part and then I will talk about the final piece like all the measurements of the squares of the borders as well as the neck piece how long I've made it